Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new here. So today I'm just gonna jump right into the video. For poly gel, the kits that I would suggest would be either the Marcart kit or the SXC one. I'm gonna show pictures here. The very first one I used was the one from Marcart. I even still have an old tube from them. This kit comes with base gel, top coat, and it has a lot of different poly gel colors. And if you want to start off, I would suggest you do that because that was the one that I started off with. For the poly gel, I'm going to use this color, which is white. It's also in that Mercart kit. I'm just going to do something very simple. All right, so now I'm just going to start off with nail prep. I'm just going to push back my cuticles very gently. Now I'm gonna go around my cuticle and my natural nail with a sanding bit. If you don't have one, you can use a regular file. You can use a 180-180 file. You can use something like this. And when I do this, I try not to spend a lot of time on my nail. I just try not to spend a lot of time on one spot and I don't add a lot of pressure. So now I'm just going to size my nail tips. Now that I'm done sizing out my tips, I'm gonna glue them on with this nail glue. have these on I'm going to trim these and then file them down now I'm just going to remove the shine from the nail tip I forgot to show myself filing my nails so I'm going to do that right now Next, I'm going to use primer and dehydrator. I got this from Sally's. I can also link in the description where you can get one from Amazon. If you can get it from your beauty supply, then that's great. So I'm just going to apply one layer of dehydrator on all of my nails. And nail prep is everything when it comes to poly gel. I feel like that goes for any other nail medium. But if you want your nails to stay on longer, definitely always include primer and dehydrator in your nail prep. Next, I'm going to add a base coat. You can use any brand base coat, any base coat that you'd like. I'm going to use Madame Glan because I really like their gel polishes. For slip solution, I'm using alcohol today. I usually use the model one slip solution, um, but because this is a beginner's tutorial, I just want to keep everything pretty simple. And for the application, I'm using this brush from Beatles. It comes with a kit, so a lot of the brushes in the, the Beatles poly gel kit, all of them are pretty big. And I find that it helps a lot with application, the bigger it is, versus with most kits, most of the brushes, they're pretty tiny. And I feel like that's what causes most sets to become out bumpy because there's just very little, it doesn't cover a lot of mass. So you can see the difference there. So I suggest you get a bigger brush. If you can get that kit from Beatles on Amazon, definitely invest in that. So I'm just going to place a bead at the very tip of the nail. And then I'm just gonna pat it and work my way upwards. So basically what I'm doing is I'm, I'm patting down the poly gel, but I'm also making sure that I'm going in stroking motions 
just so that it's smooth because just patting it all the way through, it is gonna come out pretty bumpy. So I'm also patting and blending at the same time. Also like to do once I cover the nail completely I just like to remove off a little bit from the tip just like that all right so I think I'm okay with this for the first layer I'm gonna go ahead and cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds with white poly gel you do have to cure it a little longer just because I think the pigment is super rich I'm gonna place another bead I personally like to work in two beads I just find that more easier for long nails but yeah do it any way you'd like work any anyhow you'd like if you'd like to do one full bead you can do one full bead but i like to do a bead for the tip and the entire nail and then another one for the cuticle in the lamp since I like how this looks. I'm gonna repeat the same thing on the next nail and the rest of the nails. We're just doing one solid color. So yeah, I'm just repeating that same process on all of the nails. I'm placing a bead at the tip of the nail and then another bead on my cuticle. And I'm doing a lot of swiping motions and a combination of padding. Another thing to remember when starting poly gel is that you're always gonna be improving. I myself still need work to do. I'm also trying to be better with my application and shaping. So don't get discouraged when your first few sets come out terrible or not to your liking. When I first started, my very first set was an ombre. It was a nude and white ombre. I suggest for beginners, you do start off with solid colors and then work your way into designs. That's what I did. That's really gonna help you with learning the foundation and getting the structure right. So definitely really start off simple and then move over to more intricate designs. And honestly, for me personally, I really love solid color sets. I, I don't know, it probably makes me like boring or basic, but I really love solid color sets like even ombre or French tip. I am trying to incorporate more designs and explore more accent nails so it doesn't become like redundant or boring for you guys. But yeah, solid colors will always have a special place in my heart. I will have every single tool and item listed in the description for what you need to start poly gel and also everything that I used. I just wanted to give a huge thank you to everyone who supports my channel. I'm finally at 500 subscribers and it means so much to me. You guys leave so many amazing comments and very sweet comments and it's actually very motivating. So as my token of appreciation, I am going to be giving away a Macart Poly Gel Kit. 
it's the same one that I listed in the beginning of my video, the one that I started off with. So I will be giving that away. To enter, all you need to do is comment down below what piqued your interest in Polygel or what you like about Polygel. And I'm going to leave this open for about a week. And after that, I am going to select one winner. So good luck to everyone and I hope you enjoy the rest of this video. Now that I'm done with the application, I am going to wipe off the sticky layer with alcohol and then begin filing. Honestly, the first time I was using Polygel, I didn't know that you had to wipe off the sticky layer. So all of my nail files were getting gummy and I had to throw them away each time that I filed my nails. So really make sure that you clean off your nails before you start filing. Now that I'm done filing my nails and after I clean them off, I am going to add top coat on all of my nails and I'm going to cure it in the lamp for 60 seconds.
Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and everything is in the description box. Thank you.